how to start and get credentials from Windows Credentials Manager in WhatPath. So the Credentials Manager, it's a place where Windows stores some login details and we can use it to store secretly the credentials that we can get them later in our WhatPath automations. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to store and get credentials from the Credentials Manager in WhatPath. So let's just take a look to an image that shows basically how will work the automation that we'll develop on this tutorial. So the automation will start by trying to get credentials from the credentials manager. And if the credentials are found, so we'll get them and automation will end its execution. If the indicated credentials are not found, the robot will request the credentials to us. So we have to provide them. And if we provide them, the credentials will be added to the credentials manager. If not, we'll be thrown an exception. So that's it, basically, it's just an overview. So let's get started by installing a package that gives us activities to work with the credentials manager. So here on manage packages, let's click on all packages and let's search for the package white path dot credentials dot activities and here we can see it so let's install it and now if we search here on the credentials panel for credentials we can see the activities provided the package that we have installed right now so the first step is to get the credentials from the credentials manager and to get credentials from the credentials manager, we'll use the get secure credentials activity. So let's drag it to our workflow. And so first we have to decade the targets. So the credentials that we want to get from the credentials manager. So we can notice on the credentials manager that each credential is identified with a name. So it's what we have to provide here. So let's just declare a variable str credentials. And so on the variables panel, let's define the variable default value. And so let's say that we want to search for the credentials that are identified with the name test robot. So let's leave as it is now. And so here we can see the properties of these activities. So credential type, let's leave as generic and persistence type, let's leave as enterprise as it is. So we can see the output of this activity. It's the password and username if the credentials are found. And so we also have here a Boolean output. So basically it will be true if the credentials are found and false if aren't found. So let's here declare a variable to store the username, str username, and let's create a variable to store the password. So here will be a secure password. We can see here it's so a secure string. And so let's create a variable to store the output, the result. So it can be bool credential found. And so uh, let's now add here a if condition as we have here on our image. So we'll have a if to check if the credentials were found. So let's here add an if. And so the condition basically will use our bull credential found uh, variable. And so if the credentials are found, it's everything okay. I will just add a log so we can see if in fact I retrieved uh, the username and password. So let's just have here a message and I'll enter here username. And let's call the variable that should store uh, the username. And then I'll just add here a new line. And now password. And, let's and now let's call here the variable that will store the password. So 
As you'll be a type of secure string, we need to convert first to string so we can display it on the logs. So to convert to string uh, easily, let's here use system dot net dot network credential. Let's open parentheses and now let's add here string dot empty comma and now we provide here the variable name of uh, the variable that will store the password on secure string type and now let's close parentheses and net dot password so it still is here with exception uh, I think I'm missing here the new maybe yeah so by this way the value will be converted to the string type and so we can display it on the logs so if the credentials are found, we will see here the credentials, the username and password. If not, let's just have here a log with the message, the credentials. And now let's call here the variable with the credentials name. Weren't found. So uh, we can see here on my credentials manager that I don't have any credentials with the name uh, test robot so we should see this log on the output panel so let's run it uh, the automation so it already handed let's see the output and as we can see the credentials test robot weren't found so it works as expected, so I don't have these credentials. So let's develop now the next steps. So the next step is to request the credentials to the user so we can get them to then add them on our credentials manager. So to request the credentials to the user, let's here search for the activity request credentials. And here we can see it. Let's drag it to the else block of the if condition. So here we can show a message and a title. So let's send here the message. Please provide the credentials. And here let's call the name of the credential. And now here on title, we can indicate, for example, credentials request from white path robot. So then we can see on the output, we have the credentials provided by the user. So the username, the password, and now we have here the result property that basically will indicate if the user has provided the credentials or not. So let's call here our str username variable to store the username provided. Let's call here the variable secure password. So we can see here that we can get the password on string type or secure string. So it's preferable to get on secure string is more secure. And then let's declare a variable uh, so to know if the user has provided the credentials or not. So let's declare the variable bool credentials provider. And so by this way, we'll create another if to check if the credentials were provided or not. So let's add now a if condition. And so if the credentials were provided, it's everything okay. So we'll add them on our credentials manager. If not, we'll throw an exception as we show here on the image. So to add the credentials to the credentials manager, let's use the add credentials activity. And so for the target, let's provide here the value stored on str credentials variable 
the username will be on the str username variable credential type let's leave as it is uh, persistent type also and so let's provide the password that will be on secondary string type so let's call here our variable secure password and then here on the output we can create a variable to check if the variables and then here on the output we can create a variable to then know if the credentials were added successfully so let's create here the variable bool credentials added and so let's here just add the if if so credentials added if it was a successful so then let's add a log the credentials and let's call here the variable let's store the credentials name where added successfully and then on the else side let's add a message a log message the credentials weren't added or we could also throw an exception here but let's leave as it is and now here on the else so if the user doesn't provide the credentials let's use the throw to throw an exception and also here on the else let's throw an exception new exception and now let's decay the exception message so inside double quotes the credentials and now let's add here credentials name where not provided by the user so let's see how it's running our automation so let's run it so as we can see because the credentials were not found the test route credentials it's asking here for the credentials so let's try to cancel to see what will happen and as we can see was thrown an exception because we don't have provided the credentials so it worked as, as expected so let's just stop and run again our automation so again it's asking because they don't exist on the credentials manager so i'll provide here a random username and a random password so now let's click here on ok and here on output uh, uh, says the credentials weren't added uh, let's just check here the condition oh yeah uh, I did here a mistake I provided here the boolean variable about uh, if the credentials were found so here we have to provide this uh, variable that we have created bool credentials added and now if we just open uh, the credentials manager because uh, the credentials were added uh, we just got here a mistake because we were using the wrong variable to check if we're added or not so let's open the credentials manager windows credentials and here we can see the credentials added by the robot so if we run now again the robot we see that we got uh, the credentials the username and password because was found the credentials so now if we change here on the variable that stores the credential name the name of the credential so let's add here a uh, number and if we run because the credential doesn't exist it's asking so for the username and password let's insert here and as we can see credentials were added successfully and now if we run it we'll see now here that here we can see the new credentials
So if you like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you get notified on each tutorial that I launch here on the channel.